Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Brentford taking on Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Well, in this formation, the wide centre-backs need to be good all-round players, both in possession and defensively. They have to defend the box and also get out into the wide areas to cover the wing-backs. And here's the line-up for Manchester United. David De Gea starts in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Scott McTominay plays with Fred in central midfield. And operating up front today, Edinson Cavani. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. I must say, this looks promising. Has someone to play it to. Superb block. Bruno Fernandes. Greenwood Bruno Fernandes has it Bruno Fernandes here's Cavani oh good save Mbermo Baptiste an unforced error you've got to say And showing fine vision. This looks interesting. The delivery. Cleared away. Cavani. Could play it in. McTominay. Fred! It's still alive. But wait a minute, that is offside. Bruno Fernandes and back with Bruno Fernandes well, closed down straight away And played short. Spot on with that tackle. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Mason Greenwood. Cavani. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. An incisive pass. 
Good technique displayed. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. It's opening up for them. Really vital interception. Greenwood. Here is Fred. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Good looking ball. Here's Cavani. Cavani. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Mbermo. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. That's not a bad ball. And the danger's still on. Could be troublesome. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So on they go again, and that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Alex Tellez has it. Here is Fred. It's with Alex Tellez. Lindelof now. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. Baptiste, Christian Nurgard. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Can't be comfortable in bringing that ball down. Greenwood, and attempting the through ball. Big opportunity, and a goal here. Just what Manchester United required. They are level. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Now totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Christian Nurgard. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Janelt. A very good tackle. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, for a striker, it can sometimes be a hit or a miss. And in the case of Edinson Cavani, it's been more a miss in this game, Stuart. Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't been getting into the right areas to cause damage. He's such a good player around the box, but not today. He's been disappointing. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences.
Alex Tellez has it. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the early cross. As a forward, that's exactly what you want, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Really nice ball. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. And a good tackle. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. And giving the ball away. Cavani. It's with Alex Tellez. Edinson Cavani now. Went in strongly to win the ball. Henry and Burmo definitely look as though they want to make this move count well they want that equaliser but the passing remains smooth excellent assessment of the situation at the back it's with Alex Tellez Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Rafael Varan. Alex Tellez has it. Scott McTominay. Very comfortable when in possession. Fred. Read it superbly to take back possession. Cavani. And an astute piece of defending. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. And a retrospective yellow card is the referee's verdict. Well, no doubt about it. That earlier challenge was a definite booking. Henry and the ruling is offside here well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game Bruno Fernandes Cavani Jaden Sancho Cavani sends it back terrific block Ivan Toni Sergi Canos Ayer Good movement. Jensen. It looks promising. 
And he did well to cut it out. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Bruno Fernandes. Sancho. Extremely sloppy in possession. Jensen. Good tackle taken away. Well, that'll be a free kick. Here's a change for Manchester United. Number 17, Fred, coming onto the pitch. Number 34, Danny van der Beek. Retaining possession proving difficult. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Mason Greenwood. Sancho now. Donny van der Beek. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Janelt. Jansson. Sergi Kanos. Here's Nurgard. A very good tackle. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Van de Beek. Bruno Fernandes has it. And back with Bruno Fernandes. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Well, he'll be thanking his lucky stars that the referee settled for a verbal warning rather than a booking. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.